Hello. So, uh, as you know, I uh, this is a part two for the recent DVD and Blu-ray pickups number 30. So this is 30.5. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how long this one is actually going to be because I'm still actually in the middle of recording it uh, as we speak. It is currently the 18th of October. So, yeah, still have a good month before this is due to go live. So we'll see how long this one gets. Hello and welcome to, well, I was about to start off this, but you know, it's it's been going for a half hour now. All of that that you just seen so far was from just one week. This is, I'm recording this the 17th of October. So I have three more things in the post that I've ordered. Um, I know what I've ordered. I just don't know what's all here. No box sets this time. Uh, so, as always, I've taken out the bit that would have shown my address. So, let us see. I feel a slip. I feel a slip. Okay, it is a Doctor Who Blu-ray. Yes. And it comes in a nice slip. Nice. So, yeah, this was uh, one of the w episodes that I was missing because I have as far as series 12. So I now have this. I'm missing uh, series two, half of series seven. Now that I have this, I'm miss missing series 13 flux and I'm missing um, obviously Eve of the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devil. But apparently they're all getting a one big Blu-ray release, uh, you know, after the uh, centenary, the, the Power of the Doctor, which is actually coming out this week as I'm recording it. So yeah, nice, nice little slipcover uh, for it. And then it even has a, a booklet. Okay, that's kind of tickled my fancy. So let's see quickly what's in it uh oh it's just advertising the time fracture game and other game and t uh, other stuff like time lord victorious a live escape game okay so it was, it was just it was just advertisements um but yeah uh it was a this was like a decent enough story you know i'd have <clears throat> like i definitely did enjoy it uh, but you know, it's not the best Dalek story out there, but it was, it's the best that Dalek story for the Jodie Whittaker era. Um, so yeah, Revolution of the Daleks, nice. So I think the next, these last two things will be just Blu-ray upgrades, if I'm not mistaken, because I did order some Blu-ray upgrades. Uh, so let's see. What it is we have again? Seriously? For fuck's sake! Ah! Uh, if you don't know what I'm on about, this I should have re realized it. This isn't what I ordered. What I ordered, if I can pull it out here. I ordered one of these cases, because that's literally what it was. I ordered one of these cases, and what did I get? This. Because this was literally what was, one of these was literally what was advertised for the Euro, and that's why I got it. Not the fucking regular Blu-ray. Fuck. That's pissed me off. I have to bring that back. Because I'd rather have it in one of these cases. But it seems like the last time I ordered, tried to order one of those cases for it, I got a shitty um, reprinted label. So that's, that's annoyed me. But hopefully what's last here will make up for it. And it is... A Haunted House on Blu-ray. Sweet. 
because uh, which is a Blu-ray upgrade. I fucking love this movie. It is really, really good. Like I, I love Marlon Wayne. He's fantastic. The Wayne brothers in general are just amazing. So yeah, uh, it was cheap, and it means now, uh, if I can see it here, yeah, I can take out the DVD copy. I paid a fiver for the DVD copy. What the fuck? I only paid like one, one, maybe one fifty for the Blu-ray. I always gotta fucking look at the Blu-rays before I buy the DVDs. But yeah, that's that's basically what I have. So two that I'm putting in to the collection, and one that I have to bring back. But of course, since it's Monday and I haven't gone hunting yet, uh, there should be more uh, pickups, probably. I don't know because I, I got stuff on on Saturday, so highly highly unlikely. But but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, I actually got a haircut, and uh, that's uh, my pickups. I decided to actually keep uh, Transformers, because it's one that I'm going to need for the collection. Ideally, I would have preferred it to have been, you know, the Transforming case, which is what I thought I was ordering. But, I mean, it was a Euro. Am I really going to complain over Euro. I mean, I did the last time, but that's because it was a reprinted uh, artwork. This time, by the looks of it, it's legit cover art, so I guess I'm, I'm going to keep it. So, I only got one thing in a charity shop um, this time, and that is because um, Oxfam is closed today of the 17th, and um, as well then uh, closed tomorrow, the 18th. So I actually managed to get a pickups in the NCBI. I need to take out that. What I just took out was my pre-order receipt for the new Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet, which is literally a month away as of recording this. So by the time this comes out, I will be probably stuck deep in playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, which is the one I pre-ordered. Anyway, um, so I picked up. I think I'm pretty sure this is the. Oh no, this is a. This is a movie. Okay, I w I thought this was the TV show version of it because that's what I remember. But no, it's actually the uh, movie version of um, Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Uh, I grew up on this as well. I even played the um, the PlayStation One game of it, which I think I still own, even though I don't own a PlayStation. Um, but yeah, really happy to own this. Only paid a Euro. I did buy a, a Switch game that um, uh, that was there. Uh, it was Just Dance 2020. I paid six Euro for that, uh, but I traded that into CEX, as well as my DVD copy of uh, A Haunted House, because for some odd reason, the DVD copy sells for eight euro, whereas the Blu-ray that I just bought was one fifty. So, who knew? So I had a fifteen euro voucher. So I spent thirty-two euro on nothing, nothing but Blu-rays. Uh, just give you a little spoiler of that. Um, these are all Blu-rays. Uh, three, four of them, technically four are blu-ray upgrades and three are are not and these are movies i ha haven't owned i have seen half less than half of of these so let me just start off with the one that was already shown the wolf of wall street um i decided to it was there i said fuck it i'll, I'll upgrade it to the blu-ray because my i'm starting to again run out of space so I need to get more blu-ray upgrades uh so yeah I, do, I did enjoy it a little bit too long the next one that I saw I had to pick it up because it's one it's one I saw randomly on Netflix and it became one of my favorite movies of all time I don't know where it would be on like a list if I was to ever do a list but um it's a uh, boys boys in the hood I paid 12 for this um 
can't complain. It's apparently a 25th anniversary edition. Uh, I don't know what the 25th anniversary is because um, there's, I have another Blu-ray that's like that. But uh, there's the inside, there's the artwork. And then if you take out the artwork as well as the disc, which I will do now, it has little artwork on the back of it of the characters I have I've only ever seen it the once I have not seen it since um so yeah very very happy to finally own this in my collection uh the next one that I got as soon as I saw I was like yeah I'm, I'm getting this it's in a red case so uh, it's a, it's it is a Marvel movie but it's a Fox Marvel movie before they bought it um, can't wait for the third one, which just got, uh, pushed back a little bit. It's the first Deadpool film. I have, I love Deadpool. Uh, I love the movie. So, for a fiver, I'll, I'd pick it up. I, I was tempted multiple times to pick up the DVD of the first and the second one, but I was like, I'll wait until I see it on Blu-ray and then I'll pick it up. And I did. So, yeah. Um... Let's see, you go there. The next one is one that I haven't seen. And I've been half tempted to pick up the regular DVD. But I'm glad that I held off. And just got the Blu-ray. And it is Stand By Me. I have never seen this movie before. I have been, you know, I was very tempted to get like the regular DVD of it. But... I'm happy that I actually own it on Blu-ray. And like with Boys uh, Boys in the Hood, I was about to say Boys to Men, um, there was some inserts, and then just pulling it off. Ta sorry, taking out the disc, there is some artwork behind there. So yeah, this is the, the 25th anniversary edition, and then I have the 20th anniversary edition of Boys in the Hood. So yeah, very happy to own that. The next one is a box set for for the movies, and it's one has three movies that I've still never seen. And you think it's something that I would like, you know, because I love sci-fi and fantasy and all of that. And yet I've never seen a single one of these movies. I do own them uh, on DVD. I recently picked I picked them up a while ago, and then. Still haven't gotten around to it, but as soon as I saw this box set there on Blu-ray that has all three movies, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll upgrade it to Blu-ray, why not? And that is the Lord of the Rings trilogy in this very nice, actually, bookcase. Uh, it's not bookcase. Uh, Yoko Um Only issue is there is some crease on the back of it, but other than that, you know... Uh, there's the three movies in the slim case. I'll of course still be, you know, um, I'll have it in the box set as is on there, on my bookcase. So there's Fellowship, which has a little insert, you know, advertising other Blu-rays. And there's that. So I won't be putting that back in there. So each of them are two discs and they have special features. Return of the King and the disc one is Blu-ray. The special features are DVDs, which I'm not going to complain. I'm just happy, you know, because I was tempted to buy one of them, uh, two towers on Blu-ray because it, it did look cheap. Well, it was cheap, but I held off, and I'm glad I did now that I've picked them all up in the one go. So yeah, that is what I have to show off right now. So not bad, you know, a lot of Blu-rays, a lot of Blu-rays uh, to show off. And I'm happy, you know, I'm always happy in that regard. Like, yeah, so... That's all I have for Monday the 17th of 
October. I I did put up a, a little video on Instagram to see if this pickups is going to be split in two or not. Or if I'm going to be uploading it in full. How long that's going to be. So. You'll obviously know, but I won't for a while. Okay, so it is now Friday, and I actually have uh, three things. Two Blu-ray upgrades and, <laughs> excuse me, uh, a DVD. So I'll start off with the DVD because it is a TV show, and it's one that I don't really see in the wild that often. And if I do, I tend to pick it up if it's one that I need. And that is the 90s X-Men cartoon, but this is series two, volume two. I I have, there are many different ones uh, that I have, so it's not a, I don't have like a full season yet or anything, but these are kind of hard to come by for me. I uh, very rarely see them. I never really think to go and order them online or anything, but I'm not really in any rush to complete this set. It's just, I'll pick it up as I see it. So, the two Blu-ray upgrades are for the first Gremlins. Still, I've not seen Gremlins yet, but that's uh, that's it. That is in the backlog, which I, I need to actually do up a proper list of my backlog so I can start working my way through it. But yeah, it's one that I am actually happy to own on Blu-ray. All I need now is Gremlins 2. And then the last one that I got is one I actually watched last night uh, for the very first time. Obviously, you would have seen the unscripted review for that, which I will be filming for after this, uh, after this clip. So that is Jaws. This has been recommended to me multiple times on on live streams by AJ's Movie Place. So I bit the bullet last night and I watched it and I loved it. But you, if you want to know what my actual opinions are, you're going to have to wait until... Well, actually, no, you don't have to wait. It's already been uploaded. So, yeah. Uh, do go check out my unscripted review for Jaws. And that's what I have for right now. Obviously, in the next few days, I'll be going hunting. So, we'll see what I can get then. Because there is a few things that I did note in my local CEX that was there. I just didn't want to go get them yet. I'll do that on Monday. So... It'll be a second for you. Okay, so it is now the 24th of October. And as you can see, I have three Blu-rays and a box set to show off. The three Blu-rays are Blu-ray upgrades. I have only seen one of them. And I just picked up the two, uh, the, uh, two of them that are Blu-ray upgrades. Simply just because even though I haven't seen them, they were cheap. Uh, upgrades so I thought well why not and uh, I picked up one TV show it's one of my favorite TV shows you can kind of see it off to the side there so I may as well show that off first and that is the complete season 3 of My Name is Earl if you remember a couple of uh, recent DVD pickups uh, a while ago I had ordered season 1 from from CEX and I had season two discs in it. This I actually picked up in my local one and has a little slip. And then here is the actual season three. I'm glad it came with a slip. You know, I'll always I always prefer slips to non-slipped. Uh, but it it has all of them in there. Now I know this is on Disney Plus, but as you know, uh, I've made a video of why I collect. Uh, physical media and I I just love owning physical media um, so this is one of my absolute favorite TV shows um, f like uh, in terms of like comedies it's definitely up there on the list and I'm happy to own it I just now will need to keep an eye out for uh, season one two and four even though season three wasn't the best I still enjoyed it there were still a lot of good episodes in there but onto the Blu-rays, I'll start off with the one that I have seen. So I paid three for this. Uh, I paid three for the, my name is Earl. But I paid three for this and it is the original Pinocchio because we've had, we have what? One live action now 
which I haven't seen, and I don't plan on seeing. And then we have a stop motion animation Pinocchio that is either out or is, uh, well, by the time this comes out, uh, it is out. Uh, so I still want to watch that because uh, it does look interesting and I love stop motion animation. But yeah, very little memories of this. I've obviously seen it as a kid, but I have very little memories uh, of of it. So, uh, Blu-ray upgrade, can't complain. The next Blu-ray upgrade that I have is for Public Enemies. Have not seen it. Um, it was 150 for the upgrade, so I thought, why not? And then lastly is The Prestige. Still have not seen this one yet either, but it is, uh, I have a, a, a new series plan for the new year, but you'll know, obviously have to wait uh, for uh, until the new year to see what that plan is, or probably the end of December actually, because I do a yearly um, goals for, you know, the fo following year for, for YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that is what I have for right now. I am waiting for one thing in the mail from CEX. I'm waiting on one thing from eBay. And then AJ's movie place had just posted something off to me. Um, so waiting for those three things. Uh, I'll be back in town again tomorrow. And uh, who knows, I might pick up some more things. But we shall see. We will see. Okay, so it's actually uh, now Tuesday the 25th of uh, October. I went into town to deal with something and then I also met up with a friend and I ended up buying two things. Uh, so I spent about four euro on a DVD and a Blu-ray. One was in a charity shop and one was in CEX. So I'll start off with the DVD because I bought it for the slipcover alone. Now I have been wanting to pick this movie up but I've been kind of wanting to get it on Blu-ray. But for the time being, I'll just have it on DVD because, because of the slip. And that is uh, Disney Pixar's Inside Out. I've only ever seen this movie the once. This is actually how it's supposed, the slip is supposed to look apparently. And I love this movie. And it is definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies. Uh, it is not my absolute favorite Pixar movie. That honor goes to uh, Wally, uh, but there is what it, that's what it looks like outside of this slip, and uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's one that I've been keeping an eye out for. Uh, I just haven't picked up the Blu-ray for it yet, and then just because I saw the slip cover, I was like, I'll pick it up. Why not? Now the next one that I want to pick up, uh, the next one I picked up, because it was literally just two euro uh, for this Blu-ray, and it's actually something I want to actually give a shot, because I never did when it first came out. And you know with all the hype around, well as of recording this, the hype around Henry Cavill coming back, that just spoiled it. Uh, so yeah, I picked up Man of Steel, because I want to give this a go. I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. A lot of people now are saying that it's good, um, compared to when it first came out, uh, but I want to give it a go because I do like Henry Cavill. I haven't really seen him in much, but just from seeing him doing the interviews and that, I've grown to actually genuinely like him as as a a person uh, and an actor. I just need to see him in other stuff, so I'm going to be giving Man of Steel a go. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I have for right now. Hello, so yes, a full 24 hours later, I finally got a package in the post from CEX. I, I legit thought this was going to get cancelled because I ordered this and I ordered uh, Star Trek IV The Voyage Home on Blu-ray yet again. I, I haven't put those away from yesterday, that's the Man of Steel and Inside Out. And of course, as the past three times I've tried to order The Voyage Home, it got cancelled. I thought this was going to get cancelled, but it didn't. And it is Doctor Who related. And it just got demolished trying to open it. But it is, if I can get it out, uh, 
the end of time parts one and two because I am missing this episode. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd be all over the place. So yeah, this was one of the episodes that I was missing. So there's the disc. Uh, and I saw it there. It was 8 euro for this. Uh, plus shipping brought it up to 10. And uh, yeah, now I have this. Uh, so I'm waiting on two more things. I'm waiting for a package from AJ, which was shipped yesterday as of recording this, uh, which has series two, Doctor Who series two in volumes. And then I'm waiting on series seven, part two on Blu-ray that I ordered from Movie Magpie. So that was shipped a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'll either get it this week or I'll get it next week. Uh, fingers crossed. And uh, then all I'll be missing for uh, a Doctor Who set is uh, Flux and the three specials we got this year. So, yeah. Okay, so it is Friday the 28th. Yeah, the 28th of October. And uh, I was in town and as you can see, I have two more Blu-rays that I picked up. These are both Blu-ray upgrades. So, yeah, I'll start with alphabetical order. And that is, I bought Predator, the first Predator on Blu-ray. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it, just haven't seen it in full. Uh, so I definitely do need to get around to doing that at some point. It's supposed to be the ultimate edition. I don't know if that makes it any difference because that there's sweet fuck all inside. So it must be with the special features. Uh, it's probably the special features. But yeah, uh, I won't be taking out the uh, the DVD that I have for it right here because mine is a Predator 1 and 2 double, uh, double feature. So I don't even think I'll be putting this onto the bookcase just yet because they did have the second one there and I probably will pick that up at some point. Um, but the last one that I got here is another Blu-ray upgrade for a film I absolutely love and adore. I watched it for the first time in film school that I'd done for a year and uh, as soon as I saw it there on Blu-ray, I had to pick it up. And that is The Shallow Grave. Highly recommend this film because it has... every All the actors that are in it are phenomenal. But it has a young Ewan McGregor who just obviously had done train spotting at the time. Or in, near enough the time. Because um, this came out in 2004. I don't know when train spotting came out. I just noticed it because it's on, it was on the back here. Um, but also it has a Chris, uh, a young Chris, not young, because this came out in 2004, which means it was shot and filmed in 03. But it was for a, a it was a, for a Christopher Eccleston with hair, you know, long-ish hair, not the buzz cut that he had for Doctor Who. So yeah, this was filmed just before he was cast as the Doctor, which obviously they filmed that in 2004, came out in 2005. So yeah, uh, very happy to have that into the collection. So yeah, that's what I have for right now. I'm basically waiting on two things, like I said. One of them uh, I already paid customs for, and that was for the Doctor Who Series 7 Part 2 Blu-ray that I ordered. So yeah, that should hopefully... I'll be here because we have a bank holiday coming up with uh, Halloween. So, uh, yeah, that will be, uh, should be arriving sometime in November anyway. Hello, welcome back to the pickups where I have got the two things I was waiting for in the mail this morning. I've obviously already opened one of them because it came from AJ's movie place. And uh, I obviously wanted to upload that video. I'm still going to include them here. Again, AJ, massive thank you. I really do appreciate for for hooking it up. Uh, it is now November the 1st, so 
yeah, I'm going to try not to get as, mu as much pickups between now and when I'm able to go up to Dublin. If I still am able to go up to Dublin. But we'll see. So, yes, uh, AJ has sent me a com the complete Series 5. Not Series 5. I already sent that. But the complete Series 2 of Doctor Who in volume. So we have, obviously, volume 1. Volume 2. I'm not going to go through the episodes. I already did that in the unboxing video, which will be linked in the description if I remember it. If not, someone please remind me. See, uh, Volume 3. Volume 4. And lastly, Volume 5. So yeah, once again, thank you AJ for sending me this complete set. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm now one step closer to a complete modern Doctor Who set, which is good, because then I can focus on getting the classics. Uh, but that wasn't the only thing I got today. I obviously did not open this yet. I got uh, the package from Movie Magpie uh, that I ordered from eBay that I also had to pay import fees on. So yeah, I'm just going to open it. I haven't taken off my address, so uh, yeah, this, this should be fine. This doesn't show any personal information. And yeah, so, oh, and I opened it upside down, okay. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So it's basically, this is the exact same as the Series 1, as the, sorry, Series 7 Part 1 that I uh, ordered from CEX. Uh, so, here we have the outer box in slightly better shape than my Part 1, I will admit. Obviously, a bit dinged up up top. I'm not going to complain about that. And then, you know, opening this and pulling out the actual DVDs. So we have, yeah, we'll do this in order. So we have, here we have, uh, for disc one, we have The Snowman, which is the Christmas episode, which I already have on Blu-ray. It came with the, with his la uh, Matt Smith's last episode. He put they put all the, his Christmas episodes on Blu-ray, so I technically already have it, uh, but can't really do much about it. Uh, the Bells of Saint John, the and the Rings of Akaten, and then it has uh, special features of Clara's White Christmas, Vastra's Investigations, and Children in Need, uh, the Great Detective Special, and the Bells of Jane, the Bells of Saint John prequel. So. That's what's on there. And then for disc two, we have uh, Cold War, Hide, Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. Apparently there's a disc three, which has the Crimson Horror, Nightmare in Silver, and the name of the Doctor. And the bonus features is Clarence and the Whispermen and the Companions. So yeah, that's basically it. These were, flipped around, the discs were flipped around, uh, I fixed that, but that's basically what that was like. Um, taking out the discs actually, reveals a little thing of the doctor there, which is nice. So let me just put these back. So yeah, that's me now literally getting ever so closer to it there of course they've done it with disc one i don't know why and then taking out the disc we have a scene from the snowman so yeah that's that's what i have for right now um very happy to finally have the complete series seven not only that but the complete series two of doctor who and um yeah, so now all I'm missing from my modern Doctor Who set is the 2008 Christmas special as well as uh, Flux and the three specials that we got this year. And then I'll have a complete modern Doctor Who set. So I did try to actually order the 2008 Christmas special from CEX. Uh, it got cancelled. Go figure. And uh, so yeah, the hunt for that 
and flux continues. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much more footage there's going to be, uh, how much more pickups I'm going to get, but we'll see. Okay, it is now the 14th of November and I have been home from Dublin for an hour. Now, before I continue on, I just want to mention that I have picked up some other stuff uh, from when I last recorded, but I'm saving those for a different pickups video uh, because this is already as long as it is and I have a lot of stuff, so this could easily be a, uh, a 45 the 50 minute pickups video because it's already at 35 minutes. Anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm going to go with the Forbidden Planet pickups first because those will easily, uh, I'll easily knock out real quick. So we have a Star Trek Universe uh, figure here that I paid 15 euro for and it is Captain Picard from, um, so yeah, it comes with his, a, a tricorder, um, a data pad, let's see, the season one phaser, uh, which you can see there, um, and it also comes with the, um, his little computer that would sit on his desk uh, in, uh, in his ready room, so or not his ready room, his office. Um, so yeah, that's 15 euro. They have um, other figures, like uh, for in this next generation line, there's also a Riker and a Data. And for classic Star Trek, as they refer to it, um, you could get a Khan Union Singh from uh, the Wrath of Khan, the same with Admiral um, Kirk and Captain Spock. So, and then in Discovery, you could get uh, Burnham and Saru. So, those are the other figures that you can get. I will be opening this, just not right now, because I do want to display it, and it looks like it has some pretty decent articulation. Um, so, I might do a, a YouTube short where I go over that, but we will, we will see. Uh, then I also picked up some comics. Yes, I picked up comics. Um, these were all very, very cheap. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I picked up a one one euro one, uh, three two euro ones, and two three euro ones. So I'll start off with the one euro one, and that is from Boom Studios. It is uh, Go Go Power Rangers number 30. But it's Adam's graduation uh, photo, I think. So you have Adam there, as well as a quote. If you never finish anything, it really doesn't matter how smart. So yeah, that was a euro. So this was in their bargain bin. Um, I'll just put that down there for now. I also picked up, again from Boom Studios, Power, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Issue 56, and I have to say it is a beautiful cover. Like it has the Green Ranger, no, not I don't even think it's the Green Ranger. I think it's Lord Dracon. It might be Lord Dracon. Um, and then we have, of course, the the main six there. Uh, I also picked up issue 54 of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger line. Um, this one has Goldo on the cover art. So, uh, there it is there. That was two euro. Um, I picked up Power Rangers Ultimate Issue 1 for, for three. And I also picked up Power Ran um, a different Power Rangers Ultimate Issue 1. Um, they might be the same. I'm not too sure. Uh, but they just have different artworks on it. And then lastly, I did pick up a Star Trek uh, comic. It's the IDW issue 2 of Star Trek Discovery, Adventures in the 32nd Century. So, very happy to pick those up. Okay, uh, I pause it for a second whilst I move my pickups over here. So now, 
we're on to the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. As you can see, got quite a number of Blu-rays and uh, only a few DVDs. So I'll start off with the DVDs um, because that's a smaller stack. Um, I There was going to be four more DVDs, but in the third CEX that I went to, uh, they couldn't find the discs for, it was the Pixar Animated Collection Volume 2. Uh, Pokemon Black and White the Movie and uh, Doctor Who Ark in Space and Destiny of the Daleks or Death to the Daleks one of the two uh, a John Pertwee story they couldn't find the discs for either of those unfortunately but uh, I'll start off with the DVDs with um, Family Guy Season 4 uh, I you'll see in a future pickups that I got uh one and three, I think, because they're right here. Yeah, seasons one and season three. Uh, that'll be in the next pickups video in December. Um, but yeah, I picked up series four because this was a uh, better condition than the one that was in Navin. Um, I picked up, this was a euro more than what I, what it says it is here, but I picked up, um, the MASH film. Because I love the TV series, I've never seen the film, so may as well give it a go. And then I did pick up a Doctor Who, a classic Doctor Who DVD this time. Yeah, I found it in one place, in one charity, uh, not charity shop, in one CEX, and I picked it up. And it is a Colin Baker story, it is Vengeance on Varos. Uh, never seen it, but I have heard good things about it. Um, about Vengeance on Varos, uh, so I might, I'll need to give it a go. And then the most expensive, not the most expensive thing that I spent, the, uh, but especially uh, mainly in DVDs, I picked up uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000. This was 18 euro, uh, and I said again, one of these that I hate, I hate these kind of cases, and it doesn't even have art on on the DVD, but it is legit because I have a few DVDs like this. It, uh, I hate these cases because they're so fucking flim flimsy, but yeah, it, it was a Pokemon movie. It's one of my favorite Pokemon movies. It's not my f absolute favorite, but it, it's one of them. Uh, now on to the Blu-rays because there are a bunch of uh, Blu-ray upgrades here. So uh, let's start with what I can get in reach. We have... I am legend. I've been wanting a Blu-ray upgrade for this for the longest time because I do love this movie. It is definitely one of my favorite films. Um, so I've been wanting it on Blu-ray. I picked up 22 Jump Street. I have 21 Jump Street on DVD. I haven't seen this, but it, it was three euro. I, I thought, fuck it, why not? Um, Big Hero 6. I've been wanting this for a while. And I've been wanting, I've been mainly waiting to get it on Blu-ray, and as soon as I saw it, I had to pick it up. Um, Scorpion King, Blu-ray upgrade, happy to have that uh, in the collection. I also picked up um, The Sorcerer's Apprentice on Blu-ray. I've been meaning to for quite a while. Um, case isn't in the best of shapes, but thankfully I do actually have a donor case. Which I will um, probably swap that into. And now this, I already own this on Blu-ray. Um, but I I saw it as a steel book and it was 4 euro. Even though it says 5 on this, it was actually marked down. Uh, so I'm very happy to have a, another steel book in the collection. And it's not that bad uh, looking. And it is the very first Hunger Games movie on... Steelbook, so yeah, four four euro for this uh, Steelbook. Very happy to own it. So there are the discs. So we have the Blu-ray movie, the DVD movie, and special features. So this will obviously replace um. My Blu-ray copy that I already own, as I said. 
So, um, I also picked up Saving Private Ryan on Blu-ray upgrade. About time that I have it on, on Blu-ray. Uh, another Blu-ray upgrade is Torchwood Children of Earth. I own this on DVD. I, for that for that price, $2.50, I'm obviously going to pick it up. And then lastly is a TV show. And I'm kind of pissed off at the price of this. I still paid it, but I'm still pissed off at the price that I paid. Because I checked the CEX, what it be, and for CEX over in the UK. And it is dirt cheap. Like it, it was like eight pounds over in uh, for over in the UK CEX, and I paid twenty. So it is the very first season of Star Trek Discovery on Blu-ray. It has a nice little slip that has some Velcro straps, so it opens up like that to you know show the entire crew uh, and cast of people as well. So yeah. Um, and then there it is regular. So, yeah, that's, that's why I'm always jealous with AJ's, uh, pickups, not pickups, but whenever he does the, the DVD and Blu-ray hunting, um, I'm always very jealous of the prices because they're so much better than, than here. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this pickups video. Finally, it's being wrapped up. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed I'll see you on Wednesday for a YouTube short. I'm pretty sure it'll be a YouTube short. Might even do a live stream then, but we'll we'll see. We'll see.